Hey, what's up? It's John Schnepp here with AMC Movie News. We're doing a little special most anticipated 10 movies of 2015. So I've got a little list here going. Plus, I just thought I'd like get a couple honorable mentions of some of the films I'm really looking forward to coming up in 2015. So starting with Night of Cups, the trailer just dropped. It's Terrence Malick's A New Vision starring Christian Bale, Kate Blanchett. I just was drawn in by the trailer. So it wasn't on my list earlier in the night. This trailer just brought it in as an honorable mention. I've got a bunch of honorable mentions. In the Heart of the Sea with uh, Chris Hemsworth. It's Ron Howard's like real life Moby Dick. We got Mission Impossible 5. I can't wait to see that. We've got Pixels where like Space Invaders and Pac-Man attack us. That's my version of the Tetris movie. They should just leave it at that. Hitman Agent 47. I think that character needs a second chance. I played that game. I love the game. So I want to see a good version of that movie. Uh, the Kingsman, obviously Mark Millar's uh, and uh, Dave Gibbons come to life. Uh, we've got Max Landis's Frankenstein with uh, uh, Daniel Radcliffe, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, Hot Tub Time Machine 2, come on, it's going to be funny. Uh, Paddington, that last trailer sold me. I want to see that bear interact with humans, and uh, a lot of it just it just seems like a lot of fun. Uh, Map to the Stars, David Cronenberg. I'm a fan of every Cronenberg movie that comes out, whether I like him or not. I go see him. Uh, Pan with Hugh Jackman. We got Fantastic Four. Trank, I'm going to give it a shot. I hope it's awesome. Uh, Resident Evil 6, it's my guilty pleasure. I don't care if you don't like it. Uh, and The Death of Superman Lives, what happened? My film, of course I'm going to plug it. I'm hoping I can finish it. It's coming out middle of 2015. So those are the runner-ups. Starting with uh, number 10, we've got Terminator Genesis. Genesis. However you say it, I'm glad Arnold's back. Everyone's going to come back. And I hope the movie it just hits a home run. It looks the trailer to me was really fun. I don't know why everyone was being a crybaby about the trailer. It looks like it's action packed. You've got time travel, which is what Terminator is known for. And we're going through all the different Terminators time time zones. And hopefully we see a really cool film come out of it. It looks great. I, I, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, number nine was Jurassic World. That trailer to me sold what uh, the concept of Jurassic World could be and is now, which is like, hey, look, we've grown bored with dinosaurs. There's a park that's open. Jurassic Park's been around for a while. Now it's Jurassic World. And something bad happens. Us humans get bored. Why don't you splice something else besides the Tyrannosaurus Rex? Weird bad stuff's going to happen because of us dummies. So I can't wait to see a whole bunch of humans get eaten by whatever the giant bird creature is or whatever it's going to be. Uh, number eight is Tomorrowland. Brad Bird uh, designs by Sid Mead. That trailer just had so much imagination. The three seconds that we saw of it. So I can't wait to see it. A 90 minute movie or whatever it's going to be. It looks fantastic. Of course, number seven, we got Bond returning. I believe it's Bond number 24, and it's called Spectre. Give me a break. Christopher Waltz. I mean, Batista. It's got it, the making. Sam Mendes is coming back. I can't wait. And the best thing about it, they start shooting, and it comes out at the end of the year. Can we get movies to start shooting and come out at the end of the year instead of wait five years? I don't have the patience. So Spectre's on number seven. Number six, we got Hateful Eight. Tarantino, another Western. I'm in before I ever even heard anything about scripts being online. Never read the script. I just want to enjoy the movie. So I'm so happy that Tarantino came around and was like, look, I'm making I made a few alterations, but I'm making this movie. So I'm really excited about that. Five is Ant-Man. I mean, you know, look, we, I know Edgar Wright got uh, taken off the project. I think Edgar Wright's incredibly intelligent, a super amazingly talented director. But that doesn't take away my my love of the character Ant-Man. I've always I've always had a soft spot for this character. I'd love to see him done justice. And I think he's going to get his moment to shine in 2015. So number four, Minions. Give me a break. I can't stop thinking about that trailer. It, it, it makes me giggle like a little boy. I love the Minions. I love how stupid they are. It brings me back to the old Warner Brothers goofiness. Um, they're goofy cartoons is what I'm trying to refer to. Um, so yeah, Minions, It's it's. I just can't wait to see it. Number three, Mad Max Fury Road. I got a chance to actually see Mad Max Fury Road. I saw a rough cut of it. I am blown away at how amazing this film is. This film is incredible and I cannot wait to see it again when it opens and see it with the general public because I was blown away. This is a true blue sequel to The Road Warrior. I've already, like I said, I mean, I've seen it. I can't wait to see it like five more times in the theater. It is action nonstop. It's incredible. Uh, number two on my list, Avengers Age of Ultron. What more can be said about Avengers Age of Ultron? It, it looks to be possibly the most ultimate super group, super team up movie ever made. We've got 
the all the cast coming from Avengers, brand new characters coming in with Marvel's Scarlet Witch, Vision, and Quicksilver. We've got Ultron, played by James Spader. I mean, come on. I mean, literally, what other film can top Avengers Age of Ultron? Obviously, number one on the list. The return of the original Star Wars cast in a brand new Star Wars movie. Uh, that just trumps everything. I can't believe that Luke Skywalker and Han Solo and Princess Leia are going to be back in the theater. We're going to be experiencing it the way it should be. There's going to be practical effects just for our old us old people who like that. stuff. Hey, it feels real. It's actually doesn't feel like a computer graphic. I know you're all used to the Clone Wars and stuff, but j you're going to be blown away when you see this new The Force Awakens. At least that's what I think, because I'm really looking forward to seeing that film. And I can't wait for them to drop a two minute trailer where we see Luke Skywalker with a beard running around like he's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Whatever it's going to be, it looks exciting. Exciting. So that is my list of the most anticipated films of 2015. So to recap, my top 10. Number 10, Terminator Genesis. Number 9, Jurassic World. Number 8, Tomorrowland. Number 7, Spectre. Number 6, Hateful Eight. Number 5, Ant-Man. Number 4, Minions. Number 3, Mad Max Fury Road. Number 2, Avengers Age of Ultron. And number 1, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Thanks for tuning in to AMC Movie News, and I'll see you guys later. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.